okay. after this. So this is hype because these guys are like, do you remember Shudon versus MK Leo at that uh, that MSM that broke? Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I wonder who broke that. Uh, I don't know. Someone really. <laughs> I don't remember at all who did that. Yeah, I don't know who did that. <laughs> but these guys always have six sets. I think the recent time in Ultimate they played was in the uh, crew battle actually, mm -hmm. where uh, MK Leo win his Ike and got completely obliterated by Shudon's Alomar. Yeah. Oh, Shudon actually also, if you remember some history, the the only one at the two GG championship to take the set off MK Leo yeah. during the round robin pools. That's, that's who. Yeah. These guys always go back and forth. Mm -hmm. So uh, now we're seeing it in Ultimate. Yeah. And I believe I remember MK Leo was saying that he's going to go pretty much all Marth this weekend. Yeah. I did see him pull out the corn for one set in pools, though. So that was interesting to see. Ooh, but the pivot force smash. Pivot F smash on the roll. Yeah, it doesn't matter what character. I'm going to get that stock anyway. Uh, I really want to see how MK Leo is going to adapt to the Almar. I feel like this has always been a rough matchup for him, <laughs> honestly. But the tipper for smash saying you can't jump off the ledge for free man. Did you remember what the sword can do? Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, even more so, like similar to how the Lucina uh, has some problems of figuring out how to get around that side speed spacing. I feel like Marth has similar problems, but uh, in addition, he has to worry about his own spacing, and usually Olimar doesn't want to put himself in that position anyway. Yeah. So it makes it even harder to be able to get tippers like he wants to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, just the downer out. Not going to get the tech chase he's looking for here, but okay. Yeah, I, I know uh, MK Leo, man, he just wants to get super aggressive off of a hit, but it's so hard against Olimar. You can't right. really play that uh, really in your face and smothering style that he's so good at. Oh my goodness, so much percent <laughs> at 72 already. Ah, uh, trying to air dodge through. Okay, he's able to be able to make it back to the stage. Ah, oh, just jumps out right at the dancing blade. You gotta get like, ooh, wow, that back air? Not quite able to do so, it yet. Oh, oh never God. mind. <laughs> he knew he had no jump. He's like, yeah, I have another purple in the back too. If you don't air dodge, it's that's your stock as well. Yeah. Down nice, an 82 though. stock, Shutan. Not slowing down at all. Yeah, that was Clean. a really great persistent edge guard there at the very end. He's so strong with his character. Yeah, I feel like from what I've seen on the Dancing Blade, I've, I've checked in the Marcina Discord too. It's kind of difficult to see, but for the most part, it's either like a, either a timing issue or like what part of the Dancing Blade hitbox you get that mm -hmm. makes it inconsistent and difficult to really connect all four hits. Yeah, Leo has gotten really good at getting the Tipper Dancing Blade, and it kills incredibly early. But it's still just getting a setup like that on Almar when he's throwing his Pikmin out in your face while you're trying to get a Dancing Blade as like a kill setup is just really, uh, really poor like risk reward mm -hmm. management. It's really hard. Yeah. But we'll see. In a bad position though. Puts him in the air nice. and waits out the armor too. Yeah, I like that people are getting really good at uh, punching that from Almar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's basically just one more mix-up that he has, so it's still punishable. Oh, I'm gonna get the tech he's looking for. Does mix up the shield, though. Man, being able to cross up with Nair and throw like a purple up smash on shield is just so good with yeah. Omar. Jab, jab. Sends in a bad position. Not able to get anything, though. Defending himself oh. at the ledge here. Oh, man. Thought she was on with, uh, kind of drop the shield earlier and get that up the out. Trying to get those dancing blades oh. out of shield and great setup there into the up smash. Very yeah, nice. Classic, time. classic Almar uh, hit the frame there. Oh, then she's not covering the landing here with the purple. Oh, immediate up smash out of shield. Stole all the damage. Oh, man. So much damage being tacked onto MK Leo on the second stock. Yet to lose his first one, too. MK Leo's got to figure something out. But yeah, this is one thing I was worried about. Every time he tries to go for his spacing, the purple pigman can yeah. send it to tumble and keep him off stage. Yeah, it's really, really hard. Yeah, Double potential. Jab? Had a potential setup there with that landing there. I guess he wasn't confident how it was going to land. All Pikmin were out, so that force smash is going to whip with the, the up throw. Ooh, the Dancing Blade one whiffs right in Shudon's face. He says, okay, thank you for the free grab. Yeah. Another stock. Oh, my God, 27, 35. Yeah. Early up smash combos, there's always the most devastating because you can connect two up airs afterwards, yeah. depending on which Pikmin you have. Oh, oh the tech chase too. Oh, 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 Crazy. Oh my god. Um, he just three stocked MK Leo. Strides. When was the last time you've seen MK Leo three stocked in this game? Uh, I want you to be really never, honest. I've never, well, I've, that was I my haven't first seen time. that either. Yeah. That I Damn. can really think about, this is the first time I've seen. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, Shuton's a killer, dude. Yeah. He looks so comfortable in this matchup. I mean, I, I maybe Zachary was thinking, okay, I'm going to give you some Lucina practice oh god, <laughs> before, maybe, maybe. before I'm out of this tournament, but yeah, we're this switching. Is, this is what I was expecting. Yeah. Uh, the Wolfman, if mm -hmm. his 
Lucina and or Marth is not getting it done, this is probably his best bet. Especially because like his Ike as well really struggled against Shutan too, so yeah, we'll have to see. He claims he has a Richter also. <laughs> like yeah, top he, level he play, actually, so. he, does, he actually does have a really solid Richter too. Mm -hmm. And we did see Shutan pull out the Richter to deal with all of Mars. So. Yeah, so I will, we'll have to see, but I mean I like I, this is a important pre-show also because in case these two do happen to fight off again in like top 8 or something like that, top 16, then this is really good uh, data collection as well. Exactly. But uh, the Wolf is definitely getting it done again. This is a really strong matchup uh, for Wolf. I know uh, Chiton had a lot of practice in earlier warming up with Zachary's Wolf, but it is a different style. I don't think uh, MK Leo's style of Wolf is uh, as consistent as uh, Zachary's. He's definitely a little bit more aggressive. Oh, oh, clips had up B actually oh, and snipes him. Yeah, the air dodge, man. He always has the purple ready for the snipe. Four tilt? tilt, though. Still not enough to do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> man. Honestly, you have to go deep to hit that recovery. He doesn't have a hitbox. Mm -hmm. but. And how's Wolf supposed to do that? Not really reliably, to be perfectly honest. I mean, yeah. I mean, Shuton was very famous for having those up B mix ups very solidly down, and he, he, we see that he's doing it again. And has a tech chase into the board. Oh line. my! And God. another snipe <laughs> with the so purple good. Pikmin. That's two for two right here. Two for two, and he's in a position to just continue his lead. Oh my goodness! Ready for the up smash as well. Just gain the right Pikmin he needs to to rack up these early percent combos too. White Pikmin, oh my god, it's just an M&M. Yeah. MK Leo was trying to get in on this guy, but he's just dancing all over him. Yeah, he's just really trying to get these hitboxes okay. in. Finally going to get that spot dodge punish. The F smash, just the wheel down the shield, and he's immediately punched with the down smash. He needs all he can get, but he just took so much damage on the White Pikmin. Yeah, I mean, he had Shuton in the corner, and he was shielding for a very long time, but MK Leo kept putting uh, hitboxes onto that shield instead of trying to go for like an empty hop grab. You can really tell that NKL was really trying to take these stocks out early. Yeah, but on still, he just looks so comfortable right now. Yeah. Okay. Unsafe dash attack on shield, immediately gets punished. Yeah, MKL was rarely going for these grabs, even though Shuton's been throwing out a lot of shield, but finally the chase with that roll with the down smash, that'll be able to close it out, but not without 101% on oh, his last stock the potentially classic. here. Really good low percent stream there coming out from NK Leo. He's got to be so careful here, though. Oh, yeah. Back air, not enough. Mm -hmm. Very close, though. Again, NK Leo. He just, oh, my, oh my God. Three for three. Oh, my God. Again, that's what I'm talking Another about. Nice three <laughs> like, for three. NK Leo, he just wanted to land with those landing nares on that shield, and it was not working out. He didn't yeah. mix it up near that end of that last game with any, like, uh, empty hop grabs or anything like no. that. He just kept getting clipped on it. Man, Leo was just trying to find the answer for Shutan's Olimar, but so strong. Still looking like he's struggling against this guy, but...